Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, today we're going to solve a problem how to dispatch chickens without a scalder or a plucker. So stay tuned today. All right, so what we have today is we had about five or six meat birds left over from the previous processing day. And they weren't quite ready to process when we did that a couple weeks ago, but now they are. And they're getting to the point where they're getting too big and we don't want them to be beyond the point where they can't get around and end up dying. So we're just gonna skin the chickens. Uh, we're gonna save the chicken breast and we're gonna save the leg quarters. And everything else is the same setup. We've got our kill cone station right there, ready to go. We used in our previous video. We've got just a small table with our uh, cutting knives. And we've got just a couple of buckets to put the excess stuff in. And we've got just a cooler. So we're only doing five or six, and that should be enough of the tools that we need to process them. The chickens have been e getting ready to be eviscerated. So just made a little slip. Hot. Yeah, it is a hot day too. So you take the feet off the exact same way you would when you're processing it normally. go. So you poked your th thumb through. Uh-huh. And like just grabbed it and yanked. Just pulling on the, the skin. skin up. Now That's the bad awesome. part about this is you lose the skin. So of course you're going to lose a little bit of the flavor. But if you don't have a plucker and a scalder, you'll get your chicken breast, tenderloin, and the leg and thigh quarter. But we're not going to keep the wings. This is just for the the main part of the meat. <laughs> All right, so the leg and thigh quarter is right there. Boom, that was easy. Yeah. There we go. All right, so just pop you it out. Pop the. And then I like to out. hold it up. Cut around the bone. Let gravity just do the work. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Two leg and thigh quarters. Yeah. That was easy. Yeah. Now for the breast meat. Just kind of follow the. Get sternum. Yeah. Just like you would process it normally. Mm -hmm. Possibly sharper knife. There we go. See, and there's the chicken breast. The breast and the Separates tenderloin. from the tenderloin. Yeah. People like their. Chicken breast, boneless, skinless anyway. Mm -hmm. So this is not really going to affect it any normal than when we processed our other birds. So I like to follow like the wishbone to get as much of the breast meat as I can. Oh, there's the crop. Let's yeah, get a little squishy thing. Nope. All right, and then it follows here, that fat line. I like to kind of what I did with the chicken thigh. You just let gravity do the work and get up in here. 
And there's chicken breast. And there you go. Just like you buy it at the store. Mm -hmm. There you go. It's a good looking chicken breast. All right, now the tenderloins. So, there's your leg and thigh, two chicken breasts. We're gonna put those in the cooler here in just a minute. Mm -hmm. Same thing with the tenderloin, it's just a little, a little more tedious, a little more cumbersome, but you just follow in there. I just like to kind of keep little cuts kind of scrape it off and then pull through and then there you go there's your yeah. chicken tender <laughs> and there you go it's pretty much just that easy and this is our first time dispatching chickens without a plucker or scalder there you go the scalder <laughs> so we're just going to put this in fast mode we're not going to show the killing we're just going to show the process in part i think we've got what four more left to do and then we're going to have chicken breasts chicken tenders leg and thigh quarters ready to go farm fresh <laughs> So we just finished uh, dispatching all the chickens, processing them, bagging them, putting them in our freezer. Um, how long did it take us? About an hour and a half. Six birds, about an hour and a half. First time we have done that without a plucker or scalder. And, and I got to thinking, we don't own a plucker. We do have the scalder part, but if you lose power, electricity, and you don't have access to the plucker, it is an easy way. Um, everything along the process is the same minus the scalding and the plucking plus we didn't get the chicken wings which that's my favorite part um, but what do you think overall pretty easy it was easy yeah it took a little muscle to actually skin it but it wasn't too hard yeah so hope you guys uh, learned a little something that you can do it without a plucker and a scalder uh, it is a little bit different than doing it the original way but easy way if you are in a bind and need to process chickens like we were we we didn't want to rent a scalder again that was it was 50 bucks a day which isn't bad but you still got to go get it and bring it here and it saved us 50 bucks and we put six chicken breast packs six leg and thigh quarter packs into our freezer that we can either sell or we can eat ourselves so pretty good day um yeah Overall. I was also thinking, you know, if you're not on a large scale, so let's say mm -hmm. you've got 10 birds to dispatch, whether they're, you know, old hens or roosters you want to get rid of, yep. or you just have 10 meat birds, you know, you've got a small yard that was an easy way without a big production. And we know that moving forward, uh, because we do have roosters from time to time with our egg layers. And if you have one that you need to put down, now you can save the meat instead of just getting rid of it. So hope you guys learned something today. Hope it was educational for you and appreciate you coming back to our channel and we'll see you on the next video.
That's right. You tell them. <laughs>